My name is Jonathan Garcia, and I am gay. All the ups and downs we've been through, I know that my family is going to be always there for me. They have constantly expressed that they love me no matter what. We don't always agree on everything. You know, we, do, we live different lifestyles, and no matter what, they still express the love they have for me time and time again, and I really appreciate that, and I know that I always have them. I guess a good, uh, a good example of that would be the election night that we were, you know, biting our nails waiting to see if Donald Trump was going to win or if Hillary Clinton was gonna win. Pretty much when it was uh, all said and done, I was really distraught and I was sad. Didn't realize how sad I was going to be and how overwhelmed with emotion I was gonna be. I thought to call my dad. I called him and I was crying. For some reason, I knew that he was the person I could call and go to to make me feel better about everything. He told me that no matter what, you know, despite what outcomes were gonna come from the election that as a whole, as a family, as a country, we're gonna to have to deal with, that he was was always going to be there for me and that my family would always be there for me and that's something I, I appreciate and I'm happy that I have. Coming out was really hard and I did have my friends. I had all of those people that I did care about around me that gave me the support that I needed but there was a lot of backlash as well. The sports team players, you know, guys that were on teams. The guys that, you know, identified as straight. I would constantly get made fun of for just being gay, you know, nothing other than that. People really didn't mock my personality or my brains or the way I looked, it was just the fact that I was gay. And the fact that somebody can show hatred on a level of something so basic and simple, it's saddening. Being gay is not something that you get to choose. You don't get to wake up one day and say, you know what, I decide that I want to be gay today. That's not how it works. It was tough, but it was a learning experience and helped me grow as a person, it helped me develop a thick skin. And as much as I would never want to be in that position again, I'm almost glad that it happened because it made me who I am today. Because of hate, I am a strong person. Sometimes you have to not worry about what other people think. You have to care about yourself. You have to worry about what's best for you and what's gonna make you happy. Your honesty and your happiness is the most important thing. We may be in an awkward time right now. There's always gonna be support, no matter where you are. And if there isn't support, find it because it's out there. Continue to keep your head up. Be strong. It's not gonna be an easy fight. The fight might not ever end. Have hope and have strength because we're all in this together. We're all here for each other. Eventually, you'll get to where you need to be and you'll be glad that you did. Human nature, you tend to not really want to stray off the beaten path. So when it comes to us being within our own community, we kind of want to stay that route. A lot of people try to place religion into it. They try to say that it's not right, that you know maybe there's something wrong with us, but it's really not the case. The people we need to reach out to are the people that don't understand and think that gay people are here to really hurt them. We just want to be happy. Everybody just wants to be happy. For all the people that are against the love and the hope that we stand for, we need to get out our message out to people who are afraid that we are going to take away their rights. We're just trying to live as equals and that's all that anybody really wants.